Hello folks, and today we're going to paint up a fossil to kind of give this sort of psychedelic look, or maybe a mother of pearl look. So a relatively straightforward paint job to uh, give you a nice effect, which I hope you will like, and you might want to emulate this on your own paint projects also. This is in its purest form, straight out of the mould, made of concrete. This is one done in a more oldie worldy natural looking paint effect. And of course today we're going for this psychedelic or maybe mother of pearl effect. So let's get started. Right, so here we are with our concrete fossil. Freshly cast, well it's been casted for about a month and they've been featured on the videos. So we've got our paint there and a selection of red, blue, green and some white. So we're aiming for some pastel colours. So, as you can see in my messy paint tray there, we've got some red already in there from the last paint job. We don't want to waste anything. And I'm mixing that in with some white to create a pink. And then add a little bit of blue to kind of make it a purplish colour. A light pastel purple or violet maybe. So we uh, paint that onto the concrete cast. This is like our undercoat. And get a good coverage there. Now the middle section, we've got, as you can see, some blue and just add some more white to the blue and again sort of create a pastel blue colour and that'll be our band in the middle. So like I say, this is our undercoat and we'll do some dry brushing to create our psychedelic mother of pearl look towards the end of the video. So as you can see there, we're blending in those two colours and creating a gradient between those colours, a nice smooth gradient. And now on the end we're going to use a green and the same same process again, some green and some white just to lighten it a little bit and to create that pastel effect again. Also using water as you can see. If anybody seen any of my videos before you kind of get the gist of what's going on. But uh, it's relatively straightforward. Um, the blending is pretty straightforward. It might take a little bit of a knack to get used to, but you're sort of um, obviously blending the colours, but moving the colours into each other smoothly, not pressing too hard on your paintbrush, and maybe use a circular motion to do that blending also. And, uh, and to create those gradients at your own personal preference. So now we're doing the front of the fossil, as you can see there, and the same process again. Painting in those bands and merging in each band colour and uh, creating our gradients there. You don't really want to think too much while you're doing this, kind of like let, let it create your own kind of natural look or just let you... Just let things go, let yourself go and just paint it and try not to like correct any perceived mistakes because there isn't any perceived mistakes. So if you see, a, if you sort of um, accidentally create a nice effect, just leave it there and don't mess around with them. Because if you're like me, I tend to try and fart around too much and ruin a, ruin a natural effect, if that makes any sense. Also use some clean brushes there just to merge in the layers um, so as not to muddy up the colours. So that comes in handy to blend in those colours. Just use a clean brush. So as you can see, just using a the hairdryer there just to speed up the drying process. If I wasn't filming, i just leave it overnight. I think you get a better consistency if you leave the paint overnight to dry, like a full 24 hours at least and then apply your uh, dry brushing on the top once it's fully cured, the paint. But for this video, obviously we're using the hair dryer just to speed things up a little bit. So now we've got some metallic paint. You can't see the label there because there's lots of paint over. I've had this paint for quite some time now. So there we are, now we're going for the dry brush. And we're just putting a little bit of silver paint onto the end of the brush, the end of the bristles, and just lightly dusting that over the fossil. 
And this is kind of bringing things together and creating that sort of psychedelic mother of pearl look. So like I say, just dust over your object and of course in this case the fossil. You might want to go over a few times to create the look you're looking for and obviously that's down to preference. And again, sometimes it's, it's easy to overdo this stage also as well, but if you overdo it you can just redo the process, repaint in your uh, um, the base colour and just do the same again. But the, the good thing about dry brushing is you can build it up lightly so you can just put a little bit on first of all and then if you want it a little bit heavier then obviously put another dusting and so on until you get your desired look so there we are that's the fossil completed the psychedelic fossil and there we are quite happy with that we'll have some more painting videos up on the channel over these uh, wintry months here in the UK so, um, that's what will be happening soon with other things. So anyway, there we are. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and over and out for now.